Hey, how's it going everybody? You saw the title of today's video, you know what we're here to talk about. The All-Star Game was last night. I missed the first half I was working, I'll be honest, but I watched the entirety of its second half, and as far as I can tell, the first half was more of the same. So, you see the title, like I said, you know what we're here to talk about. The All-Star Game needs to change. Mike Malone said that was the worst game of basketball he's ever played, and he doesn't know if you can fix it. And I'm not saying he's right, but I'm also not saying that he's wrong. But that says something to me that the coach of the second best team in the NBA sees a problem with the All-Star game and doesn't think we can fix it. And the main problem is, and he didn't say it, is it's just a lack of effort. The players don't have a reason to try, and why do they? Why should they? They don't care, and like I said, why should they care? There's no monetary incentive. There's no competitive incentive. They're playing for fun, and th this was the worst example yet because I feel like it, it, since 2018 when they changed the format, the fourth quarter's always been competitive, and especially since 2020, the fourth quarter's been competitive because even though you don't love it, and I don't think they should add it to regular games, even though I think that was an idea that was like floated around, I could be wrong. Having a set score is way more competitive because it means that they just have to get there. They just have to get to that. And I say it's way more competitive because it's way more competitive for an all-star game. Because like we saw tonight, last night, when there isn't really a reason to try, they won't try. And because one team was so far ahead, that like score count didn't actually matter we knew team Giannis was gonna win it the only reason it looked like team lebron ever stood a chance is because team Giannis stopped giving like any shits at all and was just throwing the ball at the backboard reggie Martin was trying his best to hype it up man but it, it was a bumpy ride <laughs> as a whole i'd say the all-star games had like a bumpy ride though you know 2017 I, I say 2017 is the worst i i'd say 2017 is the worst he had basketball ever played more so than last night you know last night was bad but as someone who watched both or at least watched a half of both 2017 was a, a more egregious in my opinion because they just really did not give a single shit at all there was a point where team lebron like for them even though i said it was like a fake comeback and the only reason they were getting back into it was because Team Giannis didn't care. Kyrie Irving looked like he cared and like cared for a bit. And so, you know, there was at least somewhat effort. 2017, before they made the big change to captains, they were like, there was literally an absolute lack of effort. And that's what we're getting back to. But 2020, you revamped the already revamped All-Star game and make it even better. 2021 wasn't great, but I don't know. That was like the big covid year it wasn't any fans in the stands uh 2022 i actually think 2022 had a really good ending the game was pretty close and if i'm remembering correctly lebron hit like a game winner that had them win by three so it was a competitive game they were like going at each other in the fourth or specifically when i say these all-star games are competitive i mean typically only the fourth quarter because that's really when they care and they need to care the problem with the all-star game is as is i don't see an actual solution Doing something like 2018 or 2020, yeah, it made the All-Star game fun and exciting and gave the players an incentive to try again, sort of, but that was only because it was like a temporary change. As we saw, they're already like, I don't want to say they're tired of the format, but they're already like tired of trying. <laughs> the the I, I think the reason players used to love the All-Star game so much is there used to be like a certain title, a certain respect for being an All-Star that I don't think exists like in players as much as it used to and i don't think you can like as is bring that back i think doing what you did in 2020 and 2018 are band-aid solutions to a larger problem which is that players don't have an incentive to care about the all-star game why would they risk injury in a game that truthfully doesn't matter and they see the all-star break as just that a break a vacation they, they they see these days off and they're like yeah I'm gonna take advantage of this, and I I don't blame them. I'm not I'm not even really that mad at them. Like I can't say if I was in the same shoes, I wouldn't do the same thing. But I can say that they shouldn't be, and that the NBA needs to do something about it so the players have a reason to try. So with that being said, it seems like the only solution to this problem would be to give them a reason to care, to change the All Star game finally. And I think I think it, we're finally at that point. I think. The skills, not the skills contest, not the skills contest, clearly. I think the rookie showcase or the rookie sophomore, Team USA versus Team World, however they do it now, I think that should stay. I think it's proven 
that. It's fun. And as well, the young guys love the opportunity to be in the All-Star game and to be at the All-Star event. So they're always going to like at least give a shit in their game. They're going to try and score and play a little bit of defense. It's not going to be the best, but it's also, it's for what it is, I think the Rookie Showcase game works really well. And I think we should keep it. And that's one where I, th I think revamping it would incentivize younger players to try for like, they, it wouldn't be band-aid solutions. An actual revamp would inspire multiple generations of young players to like try again. Or maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. All I know is I don't mind the rookie showcase as is. The three point contest and the dunk contest need to stay. The dunk contest players have shown that they are going to find, come up with new dunks. And even if it isn't star players, they're players who want to dunk and are going to try to dunk. And so let's just keep having them do it. And shooters are going to shoot, man. The effort is never going to be a problem with the three point contest. You could change up the format, but there'd be no reason to get rid of it because shooters are going to shoot and there's always going to be players who want to do that. But Adam Silver's thrown around the idea of something like an um, in-season tournament. Why don't we start looking at something like that for the All-Star game? Why don't we give like players and teams an incentive? Maybe it be monetary or maybe it be competitive. I don't know a way where you could make the in-season tournament work where like maybe the Eastern Western Conference have like an in-season tournament and the winner of each one like gets a buy in the first round i don't know that that also there's 27 games left and hypothetically the team with the first round buy could fall all the way out of the playoffs or all the way to the ac there's a world where they can have a competitive advantage from that and there also is a world where you could just give them money and i one thing we saw very clearly in last night's all-star game is players are kind of incentivized just by playing one-on-one -on -one. Like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, they were trying when they were going at each other because there's like a little bit of a, ooh, they're teammates. Ooh, like, let's see how this plans out. They don't ever really get to go at each other. It was fun and it was exciting. So maybe a one-on-one -on -one tournament for some money. Clearly, like I make it clear, there needs to be a money or competitive advantage. I don't think with a one-on-one -on -one tournament, you give a whole team a competitive advantage because Kyrie Irving can play better one-on-one -on -one basketball than like the entirety of, I don't know, the Denver Nuggets. Regardless, you can't really do that with um, a one-on-one -on -one tournament. So maybe then you look at the monetary like, incentivizer. You say, okay, KD, Kyrie, Luka, Harden, Giannis, come on out here, come play. Winner gets like this much money. So these guys, you know, they're of course not going to probably try and like injure themselves or but they're gonna try they're gonna go at it they're gonna have some fun like Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and it would be exciting I just think as is the regular season isn't very exciting I think we can all admit that at least for the casual fan watching regular season basketball isn't that exciting they're not gonna watch the Sacramento Kings and see what the hell they're doing over there and their figure that what they figured out they're not gonna watch the New York I actually might watch the New York Knicks but the, the NBA regular season is typically miss for fans so the all-star weekend is really like that one moment in my head other than like christmas day uh before the playoffs that the nba can sell like their product hard to general fan bases and i think that they're losing that i think that they're losing that i don't think people care as much and i think until the nba changes something about it they won't care as much and i don't think the players care as much and so essentially you're creating just a weekend event where like you're, you're essentially doing a forced work retreat you're doing a forced work retreat where these players have to come out and they have to socialize with their co-workers before they get to enjoy their vacation give them a reason to want to socialize with their co-workers give them a reason to take a break from that vacation i don't know man I'm just spitballing ideas. I just know that I don't like the All-Star game anymore. I don't like watching it. And I think as a bas as basketball fans, we don't enjoy it as much as we used to. I don't... I wasn't personally watching the early 2000s All-Star game. So I can't say that it was more competitive. But it appeared more competitive. And when people talk about it, they talk about it like it was more competitive. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a boomer ass take, but we need to get back to that. I, I want to get back to that era of the all-star game and i think the only way how is to change it this isn't like the 82 games for me where incentivizing players to play more regular season games would probably have to include reducing it from 82 games but that's kind of like a hard thing for me because then you're changing history you're changing legacies we're never going to be able to see a team 
beat 73 and 9 even if that never could even if that never does happen it never could happen if we changed that but the all-star game who really give sorry respectfully who really gives a crap you know who really cares about the records and the history it's fun and it's cool and we're always going to remember the all-star weekend and you can keep calling it the all-star weekend but the game itself can change and i i think it's time to change but i'd love to know your thoughts down below this is just a quick one off the dome i wanted to talk about this i was thinking about this all night and i'm like you know when i wake up and record this all-star video and just get it out out of the way but yeah, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts here, what you think down below. Do you think the All-Star game needs to change? Do you think it's fine as is? Please let me know. And as always, please like and subscribe. Peace.